My name is Sean Kramer and I will be walking you through step by step for each of the replaceable parts for the Viking Model G Series dry pipe valves. Prior to performing any replacement parts on the valve, refer to the appropriate technical data sheets for placing the system out of service. The replacement of the prime coupling will remain the same for all the different various sizes of the Viking Model G Series dry pipe valves. Here are the tools that will be needed for the repair parts video. We will first need to remove the cover from the body of the valve. We will need to remove the spool piece that's on top of the cover by removing both of the couplings connected to the spool piece. Next, open the unions on the air supply line upstream of the half inch check valve as well as disconnect our drain piping from the valve. We can now remove the cover bolts from the cover of the valve. With the cover now removed, we can now remove the internal check diaphragm. Next, we will need to disconnect the prime coupling from the prime chamber assembly. To disconnect the prime coupling, we will first start by opening the union on the priming line. With the coupling now open, we will next remove the associated trim that's remaining on the prime coupling. We can now disconnect the prime coupling from the priming chamber. Now that the prime coupling is disconnected from the prime chamber assembly, we will need to take a flathead screwdriver and gently push the prime coupling out from the valve. We can now install the new prime coupling into the valve connecting it to the prime chamber assembly. Now replace the existing internal check diaphragm back into the body of the valve, making sure to line up the holes of the gasket with the holes in the body on the valve. We can replace the trim that we removed to expose the prime coupling back onto the body of the valve. We can now close the union on the trim. When we place the cover back onto the body of the valve, we will want to make sure that the holes of the cover not only line up with the body of the valve, but line up with the internal check diaphragm as well. Now we can replace the cover bolts back into the valve. When tightening the cover bolts, make sure to tighten them in a star-shaped pattern. Once the cover bolts are reinstalled and tightened down, we can now close the union on the air supply portion of the trim. We can now reinstall the couplings and the spool piece on top of the valve. Tighten the coupling until you have metal to metal contact on both sides of the coupling. Next, we will want to reconnect our drain piping back to the Model G series dry pipe valve. This concludes our repair parts video for the replacement of the prime coupling in the Viking Model G series dry pipe valve. If you have additional questions or need additional information, please either refer to our website at www.vikinggroupinc.com or call our toll free number at 877-384-5464.